Showdown on one of America's most beloved game shows, Jeopardy. Two human champions going brain to brain with a supercomputer named Watson. We dispatched David Muir to tell us what we've learned about man versus machine. Let's take alternate meanings for 200, Alex. Call it man versus machine. Superstar contestants against the supercomputer. Watson was off and running. Losing to him by one hundredth of a second. Watson, who is Michael Phelps? Yes, Watson. Oh. What is the last judgment? Correct. Okay. Watson, who is Jean Paul Jean? Correct. And today, when we saw what makes Watson tick, he's loaded with a world of data, ten refrigerator-sized racks of servers. When Alex Trebek delivers that clue to the humans, a text of the clue is sent to Watson, who searches his hard drives for the answer. A long way since that first computer with a hard drive in the 60s could store about one Manhattan phone book. Watson can now hold 12 million of them. In the 80s, IBM's first PC could understand about 5,000 words. Watson, 125 billion. But sometimes that data misses the human subtlety. Stylish elegance or students who all graduated in the same year. Watson, what is cheek? No, sorry. What is class? Class, you got it. The mere mortal got it right. And sometimes Watson just isn't fast enough, can't sit through all that data. The man who helped build him. Uh, Watson got the answer, but um, slower uh, and couldn't buzz in fast enough to... And what are you saying behind the scenes? Are you come on. <laughs> of course. Johnny, let's meet our contestants. Brad Rutter, who won the most money ever on Jeopardy, now tied with Watson. When you first saw that a supercomputer opened up that lead, what were you thinking? Um, I was thinking, wow, okay, uh, this thing's pretty good. Viewers might be asking, what does the future hold after watching a supercomputer like Watson take on two champion contestants? But scientists will tell you that even though Watson can handle 80 trillion instructions per second, that the human brain is still capable of far more. Take that, Watson. David Muir, along with Watson, ABC News, New York. <laughs> Go humans.